Today, I'm going to be using the best AI music tool, the best AI image tool, and the best AI face swap tool in a creative challenge. I'm going to, for one hour, try and create something using these different tools. And it's, I want to keep my brain moving and trying different tools, which is why I'm going to be doing this series three, four times per week, rapidly trying to learn how to mix and match these tools. What I found is using all of these different AI tools, using them together, really allows your brain to stay sharp and be more creative. And the more of these creative AI tools, which I'm actually compiling into a monthly PDF report that I'm gonna call Riley Brown's Tool Stack. And so I'm gonna have one for productivity and one for creativity. This one is creativity. So I'm gonna be focusing on the best AI image tools, music tools, and video tools. For an hour, I'm going to try and create a music video using these tools. And I'm also gonna be using Premiere Pro. So if you like this format of video, please let me know and I'll continue to do it. But let's just dive straight into it. Check out some of these interesting styles. So this first style, the prompt for the style is Viking chant, war cry, war beats, English lyrics. Check this out. <laughs> of Christ arise and put your armor on strong in the strength which God supplies through his eternal son strong in the Lord of hosts and in his mighty team who in the strength of Jesus trusts is more than conqueror And this is on the explore page. We can literally copy this, right? We can just take this prompt, copy this. We can go to create on Suno AI, which is the best AI tool and make sure that it's version three and custom mode. And so we just go to the style of the music and we're gonna put Viking chant, war cry, war beat, English lyrics. And we're gonna say, I am the king of AI music because I decide someone tried to challenge me on this, then they died. <laughs> I don't know. My videos freaking rock, and you can suck and get way less views than me. Oh, 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 I am the king. <laughs> and watch this, they generate in 15 seconds. So we can just go generate, 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 generate. And all of them are just generating 10 songs. Watch how long they take. Watch how long. Watch how long these songs take to make. Okay, two of them are already done. It's in real time, not fast forwarding. Check this out. I am the king of AI music because I decide someone tried to challenge me on this. Then they died. My I am the king of AI music because I decide someone tried to challenge me on this. Then they die. My videos freaking rock. Oh, I'm the king of the AI music because I decide. So I'm going to go through that entire process of becoming this AI god, and I'm going to show you every single step of the way. First thing we need to do is just record myself singing this song, and that'll make it a lot easier for me to turn into the god. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, actually, the first step. The green screen here. And this will give us some editing abilities on the back end. All right, let's do this. I am the king. I am I... the king of the AI music. Then they died. My videos freaking rock this. Then they died. My videos freaking rock. 
So I'm actually about to line up the audio, but before I do that, let's just go to Run Diffusion, right? Let's go to Run Diffusion, and let's go ahead and log in, and we are gonna open up Face Fusion. This is how you can use Face Fusion without doing it locally on your computer. Personally, it's gonna cost, you know, uh, we're only going to need it for one hour. So the estimated total cost is just going to be $2.50. We got to go to Mid Journey because we need to generate the god that we want to become, right? Face Fusion puts any face onto any face of any video, right? I have the video. Face Fusion will put any face on the video, but we don't have the face. So let's go ahead and I just like looking at the Explore page on Mid Journey. So I can look up god and we can come up with like, um, let's use like a Greek god. So like Greek. God, um, something like this, something insane, just lit. Greek God, 40 year old. Um, so let's just go ahead and use this one right here. Why not? So we are going to save this image And we're going to open this up. We're going to get rid of this one. And we're going to drag this guy in here. There we go. I'm not going to be able to change my sweatshirt. So it's going to look kind of weird. I just kind of look like an Italian soccer player. But <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah. So we're going to keep this all the way up. And let's go ahead and start this. Okay. So... We are done. And just to explain what I did here, this is Face Fusion, and this is on Run Diffusion. I like to run this on the cloud rather than running it locally on my computer because I like to keep as much stuff in the cloud as possible. Uh, Run Diffusion allows you to create with certain open sourced AI models uh, on the internet for a small fee. This is like 250 to run. This is Face Fusion 2.3, and it even has a lip syncer. I'm not using the lip syncer on this one because I don't think it's that good yet. This source file, this is where you put the image. If you were using a lip sync, you would drag both an image and a sound MP3 file that would then guide the lip movement. But I'm not doing it in this video. And then the target, that's where you upload the video. So this is me singing. Super cringe. Ugh. Uh, and then this is basically taking this face and adding it onto me up here. I'm using the face swapper model and the face enhancer model. I use them in that, you definitely should use them in that order. You want, to, it swaps the face and it ends up looking like this. So the face enhance is basically turned off. It's kind of blurry. I can't sure if, I'm not sure if you can see that, but if we come over here and turn it up to 100, now you'll see that it looks significantly more clear. I'm not sure if you're able to see that, but it is definitely more clear. And then I, you just hit start but I actually just did that and we just downloaded it. So let's take a look and see what it looks like. I am the king of the I music because I decide. Someone tried to challenge me on this, then they died. My videos freaking rock and you can sup and get way less views than Okay, um, this is going to be corny as hell. I had a feeling uh, it doesn't even look like a god. I literally just look like an Italian guy singing. Here we have an Italian soccer player. I, I don't know. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up to effects and we're going to type in ultra key. And then we're going to drag this down onto the clip. And we're going to go uh, to effect controls and we're going to select this little dropper. And we're going to... What's going on here? Click right there. Okay. I've never done anything this cringe, bro. Cringe wins, man. I'm telling you, cringe wins. There's no avoiding the cringe. You get paid more if you're cringe. People like you more if you're cringe. Be cringe, man. Just be cringe. Who cares? We're going to make this fucking awesome. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add subtitles to this real quick. So we're going to go to transcript and we're going to transcribe this bad boy. And this is basically just adding the audio audio transcript. It's not actually adding any captions. Then you have to hit these three dots and hit create captions. Now, this part's important because personally, I like to create short 
uh, transcri uh, short captions. So I want to actually make this down to 20. And so we're going to make this single lined videos freaking rock. And so, I've, and it's going to be all caps. We're going to change the font so it's all good. My videos freaking rock. Okay, I went ahead and uh, quickly finished that. So we are good there. So now we can uh, turn these back on. And here we go. Here's the fun part. We actually get to make them look cool. So we can select all of them. And we are going to go to Essential Graphics and Edit. And we are going to put them on the left here. And we're going to drag them to kind of centered right here. And we're going to make this a little bit bigger. So we'll make this a little bit bigger. And then we're going to change the font to something more godlike. And so you can just hover over and there. What is that? That is a strong font right there. Wow. I like that a lot. So let's make the fill of this literally just golden. And we'll actually bring it over a little bit more. Let's just put it right here. I am the king. Should we add a stroke? That's the question. What about a black stroke? Okay, so I actually just found this. We're actually, I forgot we had motion array. Um, let's just do this HD version. So we have this background right here. This is like an ancient structure. It is moving side to side a little bit, but I think that could actually be kind of cool. And we can actually make it go slower. So let's actually try this one in the background. Um, and I think this will match the vibe a lot better. Um, let's go ahead and try this one. We'll drag this guy in and we'll do the same thing where we drag it all the way out. Yeah, this one's going to look way better. So we need this to go all the way over. And so now we actually need, uh, I extended this session by an hour because we need to put uh, that same face uh, and get some B-roll. Um, or uh, man, epic. And then we should get some like close-ups. Actually, let's make it ironic and funny. So like we could do a pool. Can we see this guy's face on this? This will be funny. Let's download the HD version of this. That'll be good. Okay, that'll be fine. Let's just, uh... okay. So now we have those three clips in here. They're all in the frame. Okay, that's finished. Let's go here. We're gonna click to upload, downloads, sequence 11. There it is. Now we gotta check the frames here, make sure that it's working. Um, so here it's not looking super, actually that's solid. Oh, there it is. Uh, let's see. It doesn't appear that it is working. I think what we're gonna need to do is do many. Okay, there we go, that'll work. So now let's see this one. Yep, there it is, looks fire. So now we have three, yeah, okay, so you have to change it to many, uh, so it can select many different faces, and <laughs> that looks so good. This is crazy how like now with motion array, you can just, like you can just change these images and like you now have so many more possibilities of images and you can use different faces you can put yourself on the motion array video I think we're ready to go let's start this okay so now it's done we can download this video and now let's come back to that main track main sequence right here and we can now add b-roll now we need to color grade so we're going to select everything right here and what we're going to do is we're going to nest all of this let's hit nest and now that this is all together, we are now gonna to come to Lumetri Color, wherever the frick that, we need to go to Window, um, Lumetri Color, and we are gonna to go to a creative look. Let's go like this. So we can try just a bunch of them. All right, whatever. Let's export it and then let's take a look at it. While it's loading, let's do a little uh, recap here. So I am actually working on a tool stack right now, uh, creative session number one. So in this creative session, we generated a song with Suno. We then, uh, we generated 
an image on Midjourney. Um, you have generated an image of Midjourney of a uh, face of a face. We used face fusion on run diffusion to put that face on the character. We then uh, downloaded B-roll and used face fusion to put the face on the character and then organized all those clips on Premiere Pro and created a video with subtitles. That's a fun creative session. Let's go ahead and take a look at our final product here. I am the king of AI music because I decide Someone tried to challenge me on this, then they died. My videos freaking rock, and you can suck and get way less views than me. Oh, 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 oh. I am the king, king of it. God. Well, that was a fun 50 minute session. The creative AI sesh. I don't know what I'm going to call these going forward, but I like these. I like just keeping myself creative using the newest tools. And I'm going to do this a lot more with no end goal in mind, just trying to be creative and having fun uh, with AI tools. Because that's what I think. Uh, I think we need more of this. I'm going to do this more. Anyway, subscribe if you like it. So uh, get out of here.